Ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about Bukayo Saka and all the disrespect that I'm seeing and all the craziness I'm seeing on social media in the last 24 hours has been ridiculous. I'm seeing pundits on national television in Canada calling, uh, saying Bukayo Saka limps a lot. You also have uh, people saying, oh, Bukayo Saka shouldn't be starting for England. Well, he didn't start in a friendly versus Iceland. And the media and how they acted afterwards was just a sheer and absolute disgrace before we go any further in this video please do like the video hit the subscribe button if you're new and let's go and speak about everything that we need to know about what's going on with arsenal Bukayo Saka, and just the sheer nonsense that i'm seeing left right and center before we go any further please do hit the like on the video and let's start with this clip right here so you have really statement. You have somebody the, on the world team. elite. You know, we said that in Qatar, we reckon that, that he was here. almost there. Has he had a good enough season? Maybe question marks in terms of goals and assists. But for me, he's a man. <sighs> I, I, again, not not in the same class as Griezmann and his influence on the side. Uh, watch out during the Euros as well for Saka <laughs> limping off with 20 minutes to go, <laughs> and then a doubt for the next game. But oh, he's made it. He'll be back. So watch out for that one through the, through the Euros. Don't they all play like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> To me, I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was dis disgraceful. You're a pundit on professional television and you're taking jokes from Twitter and you're running it on national television as a joke. This is an embarrassment from TSN and it's an absolute waste of time. What are they doing? What are they actually doing here? What are they doing? What kind of punditry is that? You used to learn things on television. Now it's just taking shots at people for no goddamn reason. That's what, it's, that's what it has actually become. That's what it's become. That is what it has become. Now, here is the next part. The next part is England played yesterday. And if you guys don't know, England played. And Bakayo Saka only played about 45 minutes, I think. If I'm, uh, sorry, not 25 minutes. My apologies. 25 minutes. And he was on the bench for the first half of that game. He didn't start for majority of that game. He came off the bench. And in that game, they lost to Iceland 1-0. And if I'm not mistaken, after the game, the the kind of things that you'd see, borderline uh, borderline racist, in my opinion. So first things first. Um, England scores 6-2 versus Iran in the World Cup. And who's the face of the victory? Jack Grealish, right? England lose the game to Iceland, in which Bakayo Saka plays 25 minutes. And he's on every single cover as, 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 as the main man. I get it. Bakayo Saka is the face of England. The guy played 25 minutes. Why is he the face of the defeat? This is borderline like something else. Like you guys read into it if you want. It's not a conspiracy anymore. We've seen this treatment for Raheem Sterling. We've seen this treatment for other players in the past. Bakayo Saka is now being lined up to be the next scapegoat for England. He's being lined up to be the next scapegoat, the next guy who's criticized, consistently criticized. And the people who who hate on Bakayo Saka, the people who despise Bakayo Saka, the people who just constantly say stuff like, oh, he shouldn't be starting for England, should be Cole Palmer, should be Foden, Cole Palmer, Anthony Gordon, this, that. Like, there's people who actually say that. If I'm not mistaken, I did a video on Michael Owen saying this exact thing a couple of weeks back. A couple of weeks back, he said this exact thing. Now I'm just going to show you guys this quickly. Uh, this was the this was the England lineup yesterday. This was the England lineup yesterday. They got the lineup that they wanted. All the hipsters pretty much got the attack that they wanted. You had Saka out. You had you had uh, Jude, uh, Jude Bellingham wasn't in the team either. But you had Cole Palmer, Foden, Anthony Gordon, Kane. Let them cook. Let's see what they can cook up. They cooked up one shot on target. One shot on target in 90 minutes versus Iceland. One shot. You had a stinker from uh, from Foden. You had a stinker from Harry Kane. You had an Anthony Gordon stinker. And you also had Cole Palmer. Besides the one chance he set up, pretty much didn't do anything. And, and we now have gotten more confirmations on what the team is going to look like also headed into the Euros. We got a confirmation what the team is going to look like. The number 10 shirt... And then number seven shirt, of course, have been given to none other than Jude Bellingham and Bakayo Saka. Yes, of course. 
who else is going to go to? And this is pretty much going to predict the team also. So as you can see here, you got Pickford, you got Walker, you got Shaw, you got Rice, Stones, Guehi, Saka, Trent, Kane, Bellingham, and Foden. And Trippier is probably going to be starting also. So this first 11 right here is going to is, is basically going to be the, the starting 11, I think. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm guessing at this moment in time. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think the first 11 is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be, uh, what do you call it? The first 11 is going to be those guys. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to move something over there. But yeah. But you know what's really, really annoyed me? What's really annoyed me is this whole conversation around Bukayo Saka and, and how they treat Bukayo Saka. For example... When Bukayo Saka is called a limp guy, when he's limping, 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 this is what people are going to do. Rival fans are going to say, why is Bukayo Saka limping? And then he's going to get fouled with no repercussion. And then they're going to say, England fans are going to say, Bukayo Saka gets limped a lot. And then we're just going to point and say, you know, see, that's that's what happens. That's what happens. Because Bukayo Saka consistently, consistently is, is, is being kicked, consistently is being abused. This is a normal daily occurrence. But yet you still have absolute tools like Michael Owen who say stuff like this. Right, so I'd go Pickford in goal. Um, I'd say Kyle Walker at right back. Luke Shaw if he's fit at left back. Um, I'd be John Stones, Harry Maguire at centre-half. Didn't even make the team. Six. Foden and Bellingham. Foden and Bellingham and Rice won't work in the midfield three. You need more balance. Either you're going to have to play Trent or you're going to play Connor, uh, Connor, uh, Connor Gallagher. In front of him. I would then go, um, I've got to find a place for Cole Palmer. I'm going to put Cole Palmer as much. As much as you guys like Cole Palmer, he's not starting over Saka. He's been given the number seven shirt. He's England's number one guy. Actually, maybe number two guy. Second highest goal scorer. Two-time England player of the year. There's no way Saka's not starting in the team. He's probably the second name on the team sheet. My right sider. I'm going to put Anthony Gordon as my left sider. And I'm going to put Harry Kane up front. Obviously, you could switch. And These guys are absolute tools, clowns, the, all of them. Baka, England without Bukayo Saka is literally unplayable at times. They're, they're terrible. They don't do anything. You need Trent for his build-up. You need Jude Bellingham for his box crashing, and you need Bukayo Saka. Those are the big three that you're going to need outside of Harry Kane to, do, to play well. And England are going to have to do their job to cover up for Trent's defensive deficiencies, and they're also going to need that right-hand side to cook. The left-hand side, you can play Fo you can play Foden there, you can play other guys there. But in my opinion, Kyle Walker should not be starting for England. It should be Trent at right back or if he's starting in midfield he's going to cook in that right uh, center mid uh, area and you're going to have Declan Rice, Trent and Jude Bellingham in the midfield if you're going to have right uh, if you're going to have thing what you need to realize is Cole Palmer is more of an inside forward but Kyle Saka is somebody who can actually occupy that whole right hand flank by himself so he should be starting there and as for Foden you're going to have to get him into the team but don't expect him to be somebody who's just going to take the ball and do everything with it at City, he's able to do that because he has somebody like Rodri. I don't, uh, let's be honest, Declan Rice, I love Declan Rice, but he's not Rodri when it comes to how he dictates the play and passes the ball around throughout the game. You have, we have, we, At Arsenal, we have other people who do that, like a Jorginho, like a Partey, like Odegaard. We have other people who do that job for him. So let Declan Rice do what he's best at, cover up the, uh, cover up for the, defensive, uh, the defense in the midfield, and of course, uh, make long driving runs from the midfield. But yeah. For now, I bid you guys adieu. I hope Bukayo Saka is not the scapegoat for England if anything bad happens, but it does seem like that's what they're lining him up to be. And it's very disgraceful and borderline racist. Anyways, I'm out of here, people. Let me know what you guys agree. And I'm out of here, people. Hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully Bukayo Saka doesn't get the same treatment that, um, uh, that his peers have gotten in the past.